sports entertainment company in the world. I've been in this industry my whole life, seen many come and go. And now here you are taking your first step into the mix. Tell me, what are you looking for? Fame, glory, prestige? What kind of a general manager will you become? Have you thought about that? Will you be a fair and balanced overseer? Or maybe you'll rule your roster with an iron fist. Either way, one thing you need to do is make impact. I didn't start my career in the WWE as a general manager like you are about to. I had to earn my spot through years and years of dedication to this business. But you, you still have so much to prove. You would not have been given this opportunity if we didn't see your potential. You must understand, 200 plus days a year, we're on the road to entertain the WWE Universe. Some careers are long, others aren't quite as lucky. But if you respect our business, if you love our business, then even you could become a legend one day. So are you ready? It's time to prove you deserve this chance. An opportunity that you can't let slip through your fingers. You must earn it. You must pay your dues. So I have to ask again, what kind of general manager will you become? Let's see if you have what it takes to be my GM.
One, two, three! One, two, three! One, two, three! One, two, three!
One, two, three!
In a universe populated by monsters, giants, and larger-than-life beings, I was determined to find my own path to the top of the mountain in sports entertainment. I wasn't gifted with superhuman size or strength, but I did have an insatiable thirst to learn, the physical gifts to take to the air, and an uncle who was more than happy to give me the tools needed to become one of the greatest competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. Starting my career in Mexico, I'd be known first as La Lagartija Verde, which means the green lizard, and Colibri, hummingbird. Still a teenager, I would eventually earn the highest honor from my uncle, as I was officially crowned Rey Mysterio Jr. I would take everything I had learned from my uncle and make it all my own. I would bring Lucha Libre to the world stage. I would make cruiserweights as popular as our heavyweight counterparts. And I would prove that a cruiserweight could win it all as long as they were given the opportunity. I would arrive in America, first stopping in ECW before garnering the attention from the top people at WCW who quickly signed me to a contract. With my foot in the door, it was just a matter of time before I took over the world of sports entertainment. Every step, a battle. Every opponent, a new face who felt they were superior to me. Every match, giving me a new objective to strive to meet. Should I try to weaken their legs? Throw all of my aerial techniques at them? Maybe surprise them with some defensive lucha libre? Take it to the outside? Show off my newest move? By the time I got to the ring, I always had a little mental list of things I wanted to try in order to win. And with every victory, I got another reminder that the best was yet to come. After winning WCW's Cruiserweight Championship, Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship, and the World Tag Team Championship, I would finally head to WWE to further build my legacy. In the near 20 years since I debuted in WWE, I have become known as quite simply the greatest luchador in sports entertainment history, the greatest mass superstar of all time. Ray is the king. Having competed against every big name possible and having defeated nearly everyone that stepped in my way, not every road is paved with gold, and mine was no different. But even when the road gets challenging, there's always opportunity. The opportunity to learn from mistakes, to grow as a competitor, and to get better. I may not have had my hand raised every time out, but there's never been a time where I didn't leave the ring better than when I entered.